Hi kids, I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is super cool. It starts with an S and is known for its triangle-shaped plates on its back. It's a turtle. Not quite, Bruno. Turtles do have shells on their backs, but the answer is Stegosaurus. Can you say Stegosaurus? Steg, O, Sor, Us. Stegosaurus. Brock, Stegosaurus. Good job, Bruno. The Stegosaurus lived in the late Jurassic period in Asia and Western America. Brock, time travel. I wish we could, Bruno. Which reminds me, Professor Fez gave me a new gadget. It's a time simulator. I guess I press this button right here. Whoa! Brock, amazing! Wow, the time simulator really works. Look, Bruno, a real stegosaurus. Brock, he's big. He's about the size of a bus, Bruno. Nine meters, or 30 feet long, and four meters, or 14 feet tall. They weigh about two tons, or as much as a car. Brock, it's a lizard. Funny you should say that, Bruno. The word Stegosaurus means roofed lizard. The Stegosaurus is a plant eater, which means herbivore. Can you say herbivore? herb a vore Herbivore. Brock eats salad. That's right, Bruno. They eat lots of salad all day long and are the first dinosaur to have cheeks. Look at that tail, Bruno. Brock, ouch. That would hurt. They use that tail to smash other dinosaurs. It's called a thagomizer. Can you say thagomizer? Thag, o, mize, er, thagomizer. The stegosaurus didn't do more than eat and look cool. Probably why their brain was the size of a walnut. Oh no, Bruno. That was a close call. There was a big dinosaur coming. It sounded like a T-Rex. That was really scary, Bruno. Okay, kids, that ends today's show, but we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Rock, bye, Bruno. Hi, kids. I'm Zookeeper Zip. And this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur starts with a T and is known for its three horns on its head. Brock, a rhino. That's right, Bruno. Rhinos do have horns on their heads, but the answer is triceratops. Can you say triceratops? Brock, tricycle. Like this, Bruno. Tri, ser, a, tops. Triceratops. Brock, triceratops. Good job, Bruno. The triceratops lived in the Cretaceous period. That's 65 million years ago. Brock, that's old. It is, Bruno. They lived in North America right before the asteroid hit. Hey, we should use the time simulator. Brock, so cool. Amazing, Bruno. Look. A real Triceratops. Brock, he's huge. He is, Bruno. Some Triceratops could weigh as much as a T-Rex, or about five tons. They're about nine meters, or 30 feet long, and three meters, or 10 feet tall. Their name Triceratops means three-horned face. They also had a very thick skin for protection from other dinosaurs. Did you know the Triceratops head was one third of its body? And they had a beak, like you, Bruno, to eat with. Brock, big beak. It is, Bruno. Oh no, it's the T-Rex again. Triceratops were known to be T-Rex food. Brock, I'm scared. Another close call, Bruno. Brock, sure was. Okay, kids, that ends today's show, but we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock, bye, Bruno. 
Hi kids, I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is awesome. It starts with a D and was the model for the Velociraptor from the Jurassic movies. Brock Dinonychus. That's right, Bruno. It's a Dinonychus. You watched the last episode. Can you say Dinonychus like this? Di no nikus. Dinonychus. Brock Dinonychus. Great job, Bruno. The Dinonychus lived in the late Cretaceous period in North America. Fossils were found in Montana. Brock, simulator. You got it, Bruno. Let's go back in time with the time simulator. Brock, he's cool. So cool, Bruno. The word Dinonychus means terrible claw for obvious reasons. Brock, ouch. Those curved claws made catching food easy and are what made scientists believe they evolved into birds. The Dinonychus was a carnivore which means they eat meat. They had very sharp teeth, with a bite as strong as a crocodile. They weighed about 180 pounds, were about one and a half meters, or five feet tall, and three meters, or 10 feet long. The Dinonychus was bipedal, which means they walk on two feet, like humans do. More than likely, they were feathered, like the Velociraptor. They also had a pretty big brain for their size. Brock, he's coming. The T-Rex is back. Let's get out of here, Bruno. He's going to catch us one of these days, Bruno. Brock, hope not. Okay, kids, that ends today's show. But we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock, bye, Bruno. Hi kids, I'm Zookeeper Zip, and this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is super cool. It starts with a V and is known for the famous Jurassic movies. Brock, vampire. Very funny, Bruno, but the answer is Velociraptor. Can you say Velociraptor? Brock, velocity. Almost, Bruno. Like this. La, loss, a, rap, tour. Velociraptor. Brock, Velociraptor. Nice work, Bruno. The Velociraptor lived 70 million years ago in the Cretaceous period, somewhere in Central Asia. Do you know what time it is, Bruno? Brock, simulator time. That's right. Time to use my special time simulator. Brock, super cool. Wow, that's a Velociraptor from the famous movies. Velociraptor means swift robber, and those curved claws help them catch their food. But this isn't a real Velociraptor. It's actually a Dinonychus, which we'll cover in another episode. Brock, coming soon. Let's see what a real Velociraptor looks like. I guess I press this button here. Brock, big difference. Yeah, Bruno. They have feathers and are about the size of a turkey. They weighed about 30 pounds, were about two feet tall, and two meters or six feet long. Velociraptor wasn't as smart as the movie said. Brock, big dummy. And they probably didn't hunt in packs. But Brock T-Rex. He's coming again, Bruno. Oh, no. I think that T-Rex is after us, Bruno. Brock, me too. Okay, kids, that ends today's show. But we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun. Say bye, Bruno. Brock, bye, Bruno. Hi, kids. I'm Zookeeper Zip. And this is our awesome dinosaur show. As always, I have my best friend Bruno with me. Say hi, Bruno. Brock, hi, Bruno. Today's dinosaur is one of my favorites. It starts with an A and has a tail like a club. Brock, albatross. 
Nice try, Bruno. Albatross does start with an A, but an albatross is a bird. The answer is Ankylosaurus. Brock, sore ankle. So close, Bruno. Like this. Ang, ki, lo, sore, us. Ankylosaurus. Brock, Ankylosaurus. That's it, Bruno. Ankylosaurus lived in the Cretaceous period in North America and Canada. Where do you think the fossils were found, Bruno? Brock, Montana. That's right, Bruno. Montana's the state the fossils were found. Time to use the time simulator and see what they really look like. Brock, big tail. You're right, Bruno. That club-like tail was used to swing at other dinosaurs for protection, just like all those armored plates on its back. Ankylosaurus was a herbivore, which means Brock eats plants. That's right, Bruno. Herbivore means plant eater. The word Ankylosaurus means fused lizard. They lived for about 80 years and were quadrupedal, which means they walked on four feet. Quad means four and pedal means feet. They had a maximum speed of about five miles an hour. They weighed about four tons or as much as an elephant. The Ankylosaurus was about six meters or 20 feet long and was about six feet or two meters tall. They also had a great sense of smell. Oh no, Bruno! Brock T-Rex! Where's the time simulator? I can't find it! Brock, hurry up! Here it is, Bruno! Wow, Bruno, I can see him coming this time! Brock, scary! It is, Bruno! Okay, kids, that ends today's show, but we'll be back next week with more dinosaurs and more learning fun! Say bye, Bruno! Brock, bye, Bruno!